predicting the fortunes of Tottenham Hotspur at the start of the season is a hazardous business. Big money has been spent, but are they ready to mix it with the top four? Gareth Southgate is excited by the potential of his young squad and has promised a positive approach from Middlesbrough this season. His two major summer signings, Didier Diga and Marvin Emnes, were both on the bench. David Wheater played at left-back, with Justin Hoyt not yet eligible to play. Dimitar Berbatov still looks certain to leave Spurs before the end of the month. The unsettled Bulgarian international was on the bench. Mexican Giovanni Dos Santos was preferred up front alongside Darren Bent. Luka Modric made his long-awaited debut alongside fellow new boy David Bentley. Juan de Ramos is confident that the arrival of quality players like Modric means his new-look side has all the credentials to be a force at the top. This is Giovanni. Loves to run with the ball, Giovanni. Bent to his left, so to Bentley. It's David Bentley away from Wita. Almost a terrific goal. Yeah, nice run from Giovanni. Here's the run inside. Left foot, left foot, just a little touch there. I think Bentley would have liked that ball to come to him just a little slower on the floor and he could have whipped it first time. Tunchai, it's a great touch. Alves there for support if he needs him. It's Alves, he's onside, but he's missed it, incredibly. Well, it's only a few moments ago we were talking about his fantastic goal-scoring record. What a miss that is. Well, Gareth Southgate has now assembled his own team here, his own squad. Just two of the starting 11 here for Middlesbrough today started his first game in charge two years ago. This is Lennon, Zakora on the overlap here. Two in white in the middle. Goes in towards Bent and Giovanni, and that really could have gone anywhere. As it is, it will be a corner to Tottenham. That's better from Spurs, the corner this time. Plenty of time and space, and he whips that ball in behind the defence. And then also... This is Ali Adier. Hasn't had too many chances to run in this game so far. Now it's Alves. This is Downing, three are in the middle. It's towards Alves. Woodgate yeah. finds his own fans. Still big friends with a few of these Middlesbrough players, Jonathan Woodgate. Of course, he only left, what, eight months ago. And within the month, won a trophy with Tottenham. Oh, and Tottenham caught out. David Wheater scores for Middlesbrough. It's not being given. It's being ruled out. And, to and uh, Wheater... Saying to the referee, well, actually, it was me that was fouled, and I think he might have a case there. The arm's up. He's got every right to try and get round that. I think that's a harsh decision. No TV to look at anymore in the dugouts for Gareth Southgate. Danny will get another chance. Still plenty forward, Alves with a flick off the ball, and turn in. David Waiter gets his goal, Middlesbrough lead. <laughs> Unbridled joy at the Riverside Stadium. They will feel they should have scored in the first half. They've definitely scored now. Well, they haven't really dealt with the clearing the lines well all afternoon, Spurs. Here it comes straight back in, low hard cross. Near post, fantastic touch from Alves, and we to just anticipating, happy to smash it home. Lovely touch on the outside of the foot. I'm not sure if Gomez actually made a great save there, seems to get a touch on it. Oh, Zali Adier, play waved on. O'Neill, oh, oh, Middlesbrough on the verge of a second goal here. This is Digar who can hit them. Oh, and turned in. It's Mido. It just had to be him. He comes back to haunt his former club. The new leaner, Mina Mido, has struck on opening day. Good break, good passing to O'Neill. It looks here as if the move's broken down, but then all of a sudden, a run from Diga. OK, the shot's not that great, but it's in the danger area, and Mido reacts first. Back of the net, game over. Tottenham looking for a consolation, anything. To hang on to going into the second game of the season. Oh, and almost an own goal. It is an own goal. Jones beaten by his own man. David Wheater 
Second goal of the game, this time, wrong end. Well, it's been a mixed afternoon for him, hasn't it, to say the very least. Better ball in from Bentley, flat it, pace it, and Weiss is stretching to deal with it, and all he can do is help it past Brad Jones. He's got to be looking now towards the next game, he's got Sunderland at home. That's a, that's a must win for him.